What? What? Hello. All right. Uh, we're just about to get started on the turbo swap on the Tomei Arms MX8280. We're gonna see how easy it is or hard it is to swap out this turbo. I've never worked on one before, but apparently it is a direct replacement on the stock manifold. Four bolts right here. It should go onto the existing downpipe um, if it's in the factory location, but the upgrade is gonna be roughly around, what do you say, 400 horsepower, 450? 450? 400, let's just say 400 on pump gas. Um, not only this, we're gonna be swapping injectors and then getting it tuned. Oh, oh we're also doing the transmission. So yep. Bobby, uh, with the help of Fish Racing Tech, Fish Fish Racing Tech, uh, got a bell housing that adapts the CD009 out of a 350Z or G35. That transmission should be able to handle a lot more horsepower than the W50 that's currently in here right now. Up more power. Up more power, power. baby. Dang, different whiskey springs? Yeah. Holy shit. Momo power, and then Momo power, and then Momo mo. And then you combine everything, it's Momo 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 mo power. Power. Yeah, I wonder what's in here. Oh, let's see how this even opens. I think you just twist this off. Can you hold it real quick? Can't hold, hold. Let's see how this comes off. Well, maybe there's no spring in there right now. Does it feel like there's tension? No. Maybe it's better that we read the instructions. Yeah, that's a, that's oh, a, oh, see? Oh, oh. Okay, so, okay, let's leave it alone then. <laughs> no, let's not f whatever's in there. Yeah, that's, that's true. Oh. Oh, turbo. All right, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Let's go something like this. You see? I don't know what orientation because obviously we're, we're not on the car yet, but this is a hose to the water. You know what I mean? And the same thing with the other side. There should be two of these. And this goes to the oil, water, water. Turbo down pipe down this way, so this has to go this way. Towards me, right? Pretty easy install, thanks to Mumu right there. He pretty much did 95% of the work. Oh, okay. I'm just kidding. Bobby LC spent quite a bit of the day taking out the stock turbo, but everything fits where it should. We kind of had some confusion as to where the water lines had to go or in which direction they had to be pointed, but the kit comes with uh, these lines and then uh, the fitting that pretty much lets you reuse the factory water line, kind of like this, and we can just angle this down. Uh, it comes with the oil feed line, uh, oil fitting, the feed fitting to the block, and then a brand new return hose. I was just bunning her up, and then, uh, that's it, right? Mm -hmm. Fire it up. Oh, you gotta change your injectors too. All right, we're almost there. Yeah. After another two hours since the last time we shot this, the turbo is finally on. Stock location, everything looks like it belongs. We could probably clock this a little bit so it's kind of aiming down. Like, like that. But otherwise, stock heat shield also fits, downpipe fits. Looking like it's at home. All right. drive real quick 
with the updated Tomei MX8280 and uh, the blow off was a little too loud so or sensitive so we just adjusted it a little bit and uh, I'm gonna go for a test drive but damn there's a big difference from your uh, stock setup yeah it's almost like when you first get on it, it feels just about the same with like really good responsive pickup. But then the more you climb into it, or the longer you stay in it as RPMs go up, it's like you're like sucked into the seat and all that power just kicks in. Let's see. <laughs> quieter, right? The blow up out? A lot quieter. Yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty fun. I can't wait to try this car on the truck. <laughs> Dude, this is sick. I do feel like it's just a tad bit laggy on the bottom end. Just, just a very small tad, uh, but the... Increasing horsepower up top definitely makes up for that tiny lag. We got the nice fish racing tech flywheel on here, but what is that for? Mopao. <laughs> yeah, we just recently dyno tuned Bobby's 1J GS300 with the new Tomei MX8280. 8280, get, get it right. I got it. 8280 turbo on here, which was a direct bolt on turbo swap. I don't know if you can see it, but. <laughs> Probably the easiest turbo oh. upgrade we've ever done here at Threes Racing. Yeah, yeah, just drive it. Uh, there should be one gate that's open. And then just anyway, pull, uh, pull uh, because the W58 open. that we had, we had on here isn't going to support 350 horsepower, yeah, yeah. we're going to have to upgrade to a stronger transmission. So we opted to go with a CD009. Uh, and then, of course, using only the best conversion, not even adapted, it's a whole bell housing kit by, by uh, Fish Racing Tech. So, uh, yep, the transmission is already here. We got the Serial 9 shifter on it already. And this is cool because you can change the orientation of the shifter. In the case of the GS, we wanted to retain the factory cup holder, so we're gonna align it to the left side facing the driver. Uh, we got the bell housing on it already. Cut the transmission, original bell housing right here and this bolted right on and this is all part of the kit so there's no modification needed besides cutting the actual transmission bell housing so this should slap right on to the engine and then uh we're gonna just all we need now is just to make a drive shaft did you get the a50 no 550 fx 550 from clutch masters no i think it's 400 550 fx 400. 400 i told you dude you almost had it. What the f***? 